What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. There will be major spoilers in this video for Spider-Man Far From Home, as it was just leaked the massive twist that the movie actually contains in its ending, so of course please click off now if you haven't seen it or don't want to know the twist. Obviously there will be spoilers in this video as we'll be discussing the end twist of Far From Home. So if you're still around, I assume you guys have no problems with spoilers just like me, so let's go ahead and break it down. At the end of Spider-Man Far From Home, it is in fact confirmed that Mysterio is a villain, and that using Stark technology, he's been able to create the elementals and to prop himself up as a superhero. As it's revealed, he kind of wants to be the next fake Iron Man and prop himself up in that way, but as a result of this, has put tons of people in danger. He's again done this using technology he's taken from Tony Stark as well as various drones. In the end though, Spider-Man comes through and Mysterio is seemingly killed. However, in the very first post credit scene, it's revealed that Mysterio was filming the whole battle between himself and Spider-Man, and more than this, has cut it in a way that poses Spider-Man as the main villain, and the one responsible for all of the attacks. In an even bigger twist, Mysterio leaks this to the entire internet, with the big reveal being that Peter Parker is in fact Spider-Man, letting the whole world know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, and more than this, making him out to be the villain of Far From Home. It's unclear if Mysterio did actually die, but I would venture on a guess that he didn't, as of course he's a master of illusion, and I bet that character has a much bigger role to play down the line concerning Spider-Man and maybe even something bigger. But this again leads directly into the last post credit scene of Far From Home, as J. Jonah Jameson receives word that Spider-Man may in fact be a villain. J. Jonah Jameson, again played by J.K. Simmons. But the big reveal here though, is that everyone in the world now knows the identity of Spider-Man, and believes him to be a villain. Pretty popular in the comic books, TV shows, and much more, is Peter Parker trying to clear his name. As Spider-Man has always been a character that some people believe is a villain, and others believe is a hero. Hero, and having that introduced into the MCU is really interesting. As we see at the beginning of Spider-Man Far From Home, he's kind of at the height of his popularity and widely accepted as a hero. So it'll be fun to see how exactly Peter Parker deals with this in the MCU, and people thinking that he's not actually as good as he seems. And following the death of Tony Stark, his mentor has somewhat turned to the dark side. But again, in the ending of Far From Home, apparently Peter Parker's identity is leaked to the World Wide Web, and he's framed as a supervillain, the one responsible for all of the attacks. Again, I think this makes for a great setup for a Spider-Man 3, and there are also rumors that Vulture, as well as Scorpion, will in fact be returning for that movie, with Marvel likely building towards sort of a Sinister Six final battle. But again, I absolutely love the darker way that they're taking this character, and with Peter Parker being finally outed as the Spider-Man. But what are your guys' thoughts on this twist ending for Spider-Man Far From Home, and are you as excited to see it as I am? Again guys, I'm going to briefly go over the rules of the Hot Toy Figure giveaway. Away. To enter to win a hot toy of your choosing, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me below what your favorite moment in Endgame was. Once you've done that, you've officially entered to win a highly detailed Marvel Hot Toys figure. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.